everyone, how's everybody doing? It's time for another exciting video from Arco Lucky Gadget. And today what we're going to be taking a look at is the uh, McDonald's Happy Meal Sega Sonic games. As you can see I've got two sets and I believe there are six in each set. So basically what it is, uh, they, these are these are little toys that you used to get in Happy Meals at McDonald's. As you can see on the back of this one, there's the McDonald's logo. I hope you can see that okay. I hope I've got the right angle. See, it's got the M on it with TM next to it. I'm not sure what that means. Um, see, it's got the McDonald's logo on the back. So, as you can see, I've got two sets up actually because uh, these were. So, this is the first set. These were from 2004, and we've got another set up here that I got, and these ones are two. These are from 2005. So how did these work then? So basically, they're all different. They're all based on like Sega Sonic. You see on the front here, you got the Sega, you got the Sega logo, and they've got different characters from Sonic the Hedgehog. Um. See, these are all from 2004, and surprisingly, these have got numbers on the back of these. So I don't know if they're like from the like different weeks at McDonald's, like week one, week two, week three. I've got them all set in order. So this is the first one. I'm not sure what this one is, but this is a number one. And then you've got silver. You've got a silver race, silver racing, which is number two. And this one, this one here is number three, which is I'm not sure what it is, but it's say uh, I think it's Shadow. And this was one of my favourites. I used to have this as a child, and uh, as a child as well. So this is some child, childhood memory for me. And this is a monkey game, which I also used to have back when I was nine years old. And this one's got a number four. On it. Hope you can see. Hope I'm holding it right. And um, this one's like a. I don't know, this is meant to be a ring collecting game or something. This one's number five. Can you see that? All these have pretty much the same information. They've all got the McDonald's logo on it. And then you've got number six, which is um, a football a football game. And I like the graphics on these. So you can actually feel the graphics, but the button, the, the, most of them have two buttons, but the buttons on, on this one are completely diff uh, the buttons on this one are completely different to all the others that were from 2004. You see, they're kind of like little footballs. This bit up here at the top is like um well meant to be like a football, it's like a quarter cut out of it because obviously it's making way for the screen. They've all got different graphics on them, and you can actually feel on them. This one's got tails on it, and these are the 2005 ones. The 2005 ones are different. Uh, they um, they basically um, well they got the, they they, bas they ba basically make the same sounds. They've got pretty much the same guts inside them, pretty much the same circuitry. But they are the 2005 ones are a little different on the outside. The 2004 ones had uh, the graphics. You can actually feel the graphics on the 2004 ones. But as you can see on these ones, the 2005. You can you can see that these are uh, the decals uh, the the graphics are just printed on decals stuck to the plastic. As you can see, this one's a tennis, and I used to have this as a child as well. So some of these I, I actually used to have as a child. So this is these are actually bringing back some these these so they do bring back some memories. Here is another one. It's a little similar to the tennis uh, the tennis game. It's, a little bit more curvier, I think. Probably, and um, I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but <coughs> this one's football again. This is this is completely different. So for comparison, this is the 2004 football game, and then this is the 2005 one. See, they're totally different. I think I don't know if this one's tails on it again, again or not. And this one's basketball, I think it. I think or some sort of American American game or baseball or I don't know. This one is I believe it's skateboarding. Now 
and this is a massive difference because you can see it's flat, it's got a little flip flip up lid and it's got the screen inside and some more graphics on the inside of the lid. I believe this one's skateboarding. I like the design of this one, it's like nice and rounded and curved. And here's another one that I used to have when I was uh, when I was about nine or something. This is uh, I believe it's a fla collecting flowers or flower collecting games, what I used to call it. Again, this one's got a flip up top. Yes. So yeah, I should talk about how I came across these. So no, I didn't get make. Tr uh, so yes. Going over how I got these, I didn't, uh, I actually, in case many of you are wondering, no, I didn't make various trips to McDonald's trying to collect every single one of these back at the time they were released. Um, I actually got all of these on eBay. Um, so I've been collecting, I actually, because I, I, I wanted to bring back some child hem uh, childhood memories uh, for some of these that I used to have. So I looked on eBay and I found some. But then, some while ago, I came across this YouTube. I, I saw this YouTube video uh, of a guy who collected, uh, who had a collection, uh, a collection of the 2000, 2004 McDonald's and that's, uh, uh, games. So I did. Uh, so that kind of encouraged me to get the whole collection, and that's what I've done. But some of them I have uh, got in the past were pretty much already the same, the same as what I already had. So I got pretty much four times the shadow one and four times this football one, and I ended up getting two times most of the others. Uh, but uh, I recently picked up this job lot of 12, which was pretty good. And I, 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 I re uh, so yeah, that was pretty good. A lot of, a lot of them needed new batteries, so I, um, so I had to take some time to do that, replace all the batteries in them, because obviously they had their original batteries in, which was quite surprising, because obviously, you know, uh, so they they had their original batteries in, and a lot of them still worked, but some of them were a bit finicky. But even though they do work, I I still find it good to replace the batteries because obviously the batteries are were the original batteries were probably around 17 years old. So always good to replace them because obviously eventually they're going to corrode and do damage to the contacts. So most of them have got new batteries in them. And they work, and they work really well. So why don't we go ahead and demonstrate some of these for you? I'm going to start with this one. This is my favourite. So turn it on. I hope the camera can pick up the sound because it's because they don't they don't really make much of a sound. They just make like they don't make any music or sound effects or anything. It's just soft beeps. So I'm starting this one. This one only has one button. Now, I don't know. I can't remember what the uh, the optic of this the game is. But when I when I had the one that I had originally back when I was nine nine years old, I used to keep repeatedly pressing the button like this. You see what I'm doing until you get to the end of the game. The sounds are very diff very easy to uh, to uh, to identify for the different things in the game. So this high pitched beep, there's this high pitched beep that you're hearing. And if I yeah, you can hear a, a low. It's hard to tell. It has increasing difficulty levels. So it's basically it just um, diff you know it gets harder. You basically it just gets faster. Got four levels, four levels, four levels of difficulty on this one. I hope you can see the screen. It's a really small screen, I know, but hopefully you can see it. I'm hope hopefully I'm holding it at the right angle here. I'm on the fourth level. This is the highest one. There you 
go. And that's what you get when you win, when you beat the game. When you die, it makes a different sound. I kind of like that. It actually sounds to me like a little alarm clock. So that's pretty cool. I won't have time to show you all of them in the video, but I'll just try and show you, just go through them. So this is the monkey game, which I used, which I also used to have. This one's got two buttons on it. Pretty much the same noises. Now I think you're collecting, catching bananas, I think. Uh, I've tried to, uh, see, the way I play these, I like to press the buttons in a certain fashion. You see what I'm doing here, pressing the buttons. That's the, that's the, that's the nice thing about these games, they're just really simple. Simple games with just two buttons. See what I'm doing here. And you'll hear that, that's the sound you get when you lose. Uh, see it's got this really small switch on the, on the back of it. Um, here is Silver Racing. Quickly show you this one. Now I really cannot play this, complete the game with this one, but I'll just quickly show you it anyway. I think those seem to be my favourites. I'll move on to the two, some, some 2000. I'll show you some 2005 ones now. Here's flower. Here's the flower collecting game that I showed you earlier. So here's the on/off switch. Turn it on. Just open it up there so you can see the screen. Um, the buttons on this one are, are are actually quite different. Most of them, uh, all the 2004. Games had uh, uh, had like circle buttons on them. Some of the 2005 ones did as well, but this one, as you can see, the buttons are completely different. These, this has oval buttons. So I don't know if you can see them. You have two buttons again. Now this one's quite quiet, so I don't think you'll be able to hear this one. That one's quite quiet. I did discover the other week my camera is not very good at picking up high frequency quiet sounds, so I don't know if I should maybe, if anyone struggles to hear the hear the sounds, maybe I could maybe just um, let me know and maybe I'll do another video, a, a remake of this video using a different camera. Here is the football 2005 
football one, and uh, uh, and again I used to have this one. I used to have this um, a couple of them back back in back in my young days, but um, you see it's got round buttons again, but they are actually bigger bigger than uh, than all the others. Um, turn this one on. Yeah. Oh. So I think these buttons just basically take you left and right and um, uh, I'm not sure about that one. And uh, um, let's show you this tennis one because I used to have this one. Now this gives you an example of how di how the difference is between uh, uh, in the buttons. So. Again, you've got a little round one, as like as some of the others had, and a lot of the others. It's got um, little grooves around it, and um, you see, it's got this rectangular button here with arrows on them. And I don't really care for it that much. The on the one I had, on the one that I used to have 16 years ago, I, I've never really bothered with this arrow, these directional arrows. So. Again, this is the quiet one. Yeah. I think you get the idea how I play that one. Just turn that one. Because I, I don't want to go too long, because obviously, because of the amount of time on my camera. This is the. I'll just show you one more. Just one more, and then we'll f and then I'll wrap things up. So this is a. Uh, that um, basketball, baseball, whatever game it is. This one's quite. This one has quite a slow sound. You can hear. This one just has the. But this one looks as if by the way it's positioned. It, I don't know if it meant to go up and if it still goes left or right, or it just goes up and down because of the, how the uh, button is positioned. This is not unlike any other because it's got the um yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I I quite like all of these. I think my favourite has to be the two thousand and four ones. Because I think they're a little bit more simpler than the uh, the um than the two thousand and five ones. This shadow one is definitely my favourite. I used to play with it a lot when I was when I was younger, so yeah, um, I think that pretty much wraps uh, uh, wraps things up. So I wish I could go longer, but yeah, obviously I can't because of my camera. Uh, the how much time I can record on my camera. I need to get a larger SD card for that camera. I don't, I've not I've never really been around to it. But anyway, um, I think that I think that pretty much show, uh, shows you what I can do with these, uh, and you, I think you can see all the difference between all of them. Um, if any if, if anyone if 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 there's if anyone if any of you would like to see more of these please let me know and um, I'll, I'll do an update on it but um, yeah I think that's pretty much I think that pretty much wraps it up so yeah I think that's pretty much all I have to show you so all I've got time for anyway but I uh, hope you all enjoy watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on push notifications and as always see you all very soon and keep safe